Now, you'll notice there's no price on this one. There's a reason for that. You talk to me personally. We dos hombres aquí todo el tiempo que habla su Now, maybe you're interested in that summer special, huh? How's this for that transportation car you thought you couldn't have? And price? $695. That's right. Six nine five. You come you talk to me. You're gonna make a deal. Maybe you like a little luxury with your economy, huh? Less than a thousand miles. Fully guaranteed. Look at this. Who the fuck did this? God, Jesus Christ, doesn't somebody check? I was really cooking. Yeah, I know. Look, there's no problem. Come on. All right. Does this match? Oh, no, you're terrific. This is great. All right, you got the right card in place this time. Yep. All right, come on. Okay, please score, take four. Hold it! What now? Behind you. My special A Midgang Paradise Manor? Oh, yeah. Last week's. Ryan International estimated its sales in the period at 4,800. Conversely, sales by Benjamin Brothers dipped 11% in the same period to 1,624 units, or 203 a day in the same period. Excuse me, sir. This includes gains from discontinued operations for the nine-month period. Oh, forgive me, sir. I, I can't seem to stop. I mean... Oops. Someone can fill you in tomorrow. Oh. You want me to leave?
How many times have I told you that story? Oh, several times. You see that picture of the sun? You know, I really like Frankie and Johnny tonight. Hey, Georgie, you want a beer? Uh, no. What then? Uh, nothing. I, I've got to leave. Hey, you got a little something going, Georgie? Try the pastrami. You'll stay forever. I got a little surprise. Uh, Where's the dills? Did you get dills? Hey, Marty's got a Dill surprise. Bread. Oh, I love surprises. What do you got? How many years we've been playing together like this once a week? Since 1970, most of us. I came in 74 when Sal moved. We're quite a few years, and we're pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. How would you guys like a real job? See how good we really are. What else is new? You put the mustard, please. Thank you. Hey, would you let me finish? We've been over this a hundred times. I got one. That's right. I got a professional engagement, a real gig. When? Where? Let the man talk. A customer of mine knows this guy in the Catskill owns a lodge. The guy had a cancellation the last two weeks of summer. I called him. I got the job. $200 a week, room and board. But I gotta let the guy know on Monday. 200 isn't much. Be like a paid vacation, jazz. You told the most jazz man? Yeah, but I gotta let him know tomorrow. So what do you say? Yes. What kind of a place is it? He said a resort to Catskills. Yeah, here. Where? Oh, here it is. I got it in my pocket. Here's the brochure. Take a look. Paradise Manor, Abe Mitgame, proprietor. All rooms with private bath and double exposure. Every meal a culinary delight. And trout fishing, boating, and golfing nearby. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey, wait a minute. Wait. Hold it. Before we get carried away here, and at the risk of sounding like a wet blanket, I'd like to intrude a few facts. First and foremost, we are adults with duties and responsibilities that can't be dismissed on a whim. How did I know you were going to say that? I will not be stampeded. Hey, Jack, it's two lousy weeks, 14 days, come on. Which happened to coincide with my vacation, with my family. Maybe a little change would do you some good. Oh, and Frank, I'm in a rut. Would you like to go? That's the point. Would you like to go, yes or no? What difference does it make? Yes or no? Yes, but I can't. I can't either. Like Jack, there's nothing else I'd rather do, but my mother isn't well. Also predictable. Well, some people have a sense of responsibility. Oh, meaning I don't. Look, let's take a poll. Aaron? Music is meant to be shared, not just playing for ourselves. A simple yes or no will do. Yes! Gil? Yes. Jack? No. Arthur? I want to, but I can't. Georgie? Yo-ho, Georgie! <laughs> it's a crazy idea. Guys our age going away from their usual lives. A week ago, I would have said uh, no, because my business can't run without me. My uh, wife would be mad, etc. It's nice for a different reason. What's you saying? I went for a checkup. They found something. I'm being operated Friday. Major? Why'd you say something? Spoil what might be my last session. Oh, what are you talking about in your last session? I got an uncle, 76 years old. Operated on five times, plays tennis every day. I know a good man, if you'd like a second opinion. I've had other opinions. Do you mind if I say something? Oh, go ahead. You guys are a bunch of Class A schmucks. I mean, take it from a charter member who, like most of you, has spent his life doing for other people. Wife, kids, friends, in-laws, people in need. I can never do enough, except for myself. These four hours with you guys every week, it's the high point. It's the happiest time of my life. So think, when was the last time you did something you really wanted? I mean, something that truly pleased yourself. In my case, if I answer truthful, not for 25 years. If my doctor called me, said the x-rays were a mistake, there was nothing wrong with me. I wouldn't let anything keep me from going up there. Not anything. Good night. Georgie. Don't. Is there something we can do? If you go up there, play something for me one night.
What are you crying for? I can't help it. Count me in. What? I'll go. That leaves you. I want to go. Yes or yes no? Or no? Yes. Now, what do we do about a base player? I'll get one. I'll also get the blazes and I'll provide the transportation. What else? How do I break the news to my mother? Same way I'm going to tell my wife. Flat out, and the sooner the better. To Georgie and the gig. To Georgie, to Georgie and the gig. Every year, for 17 years, we have vacationed on Nantucket. But this year, in fulfillment of a lifelong dream, I'm going away with the guys in the band and play a real job for two weeks, which I think I'm entitled to. You woke me at 3 a.m. to talk about Nantucket? Honey, you know how much I love Nantucket. Are you drunk? Every year for 17 years, we've been going to Nantucket, and... Okay. <laughs> well, long story short... Yes? To make a long story short... What is it? I can't wait to go there. Can't you read? Oh, it fell off. Tell your mother I have an out-of-town engagement. You think all I do is teach? any minute. That's his hard luck. He's got a gun, and he's been drinking. I've got a gun, and I haven't been drinking. You planned it this way. Beauty and brains, my favorite combination. Come here. That's my favorite program. What is it? The band is going to... What are you doing? I feel fine. Turn it on. The band is going to play at a resort in the Catskills for two weeks, and I'm going with them. Good. Now, will you turn it on? Did you hear me? You're going to play at a resort in the Catskills for two weeks. Right. That's wonderful. Turn it on. I don't think you understand. We're going to be staying there, living there for two weeks. I understand. You don't mind? Why should I? Two weeks in the country is just what I need. You're not going. Only me. Alone. Oh. Uh, oh, you want to talk about it? I thought we had. Fine. That's the one you wanted? Fine. I tell you I'm going away for two weeks and all you have to say is it sounds like fun. Would you prefer tears and hysterics, which outside of relieving your guilt would accomplish nothing? Practical to a fault. That's me. You know, it's a resort. Lots of girls. And you so dashing, playing your golden horn. And maybe I'll keep right on playing. Like you would have if you hadn't met me? It's not what I meant. Yes, it is. And I'm going to tell you something. If you really think you sold your soul by going to work for my father, then why don't you look up that famous band leader who heard you sit in at Eddie Condon's and tell him you accept his offer? If you're not serious, then drop it once and for all, because I have had it up to here. Baby, listen, I'm only going to be gone two weeks. Two lousy weeks. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. I'll call you every day. Twice a day. I'll bring you something. Anything. What would you
would you like? Where are you going? Home. My wife didn't make half this fuss. Boy, I can't wait to get to Nantucket this year. It's the fifth time you've said it in the last hour. The first two days, I'm just going to lie in the sun and... Uh, somebody want to get that? I will. Okay, do we have everything? Let's see, we got your mother's family. Hello. Yeah. Little tennis. Little sailing. Yeah, you wise guys. The umbrella, it might rain. Jack. Hmm? It's the office. Mr. Ogilvy. Ogilvy calling me? Yes. Well, he's never called me at home before. Not once in all these years. What could it be? If you get on the phone, he'll probably tell you. You sure it's Ogilvy? His secretary. Yeah, hello, speaking. Well, thank you. She's getting him. Oh, hello, Mr. Ogilvy. Fine, sir, how are you? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, all packed and ready to go, sir. Nantucket. Well, would you mind repeating that, sir? Oh, I see. Could you hold the phone a second, sir? There's serious trouble in one of our out-of-town branches, and they want me to troubleshoot. Now? No. For how long? Well, no telling. What should I say? That you'll do it. What else can you say? I love you. Uh, take care. I will. Drive carefully. Bye-bye. Mr. Ogilvy here. Come on. I'm guilty enough as it is. Uh, you didn't say anything to the others, did you? Hey, what do you thank me for anyway, huh? Thank you. Give my hand here. Hey, Jack, I didn't know you played golf. Uh -huh. I've seen him, but he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Never Jack is here. Uh -huh. A size 40 for our pianist, huh? Step right oh, into my fitting room. Right, this is nice. That comes with a bat or a whistle. <laughs> I'll bet. Yeah, sleep's gonna be a little longer. Hold it. Good. Everyone here? Everybody but uh, Arthur and the bass. Oh, yeah? Who'd you get? It's a mystery. What? He hired him sight unseen. Hey, listen, the guy who recommended it, he happens to be knowledgeable as well as being a friend. Yeah, well, the one I'm worried about is Arthur. Two to one eat chickens. Save you money. Hey, all right. Hey, Arthur! <laughs> all right, Arthur, you made Bravo, it. Bravo, Arthur! Bravo! <laughs> like pulling hey, teeth, right? Your hands, huh? All right. Thank you. Arthur, how's your mother? Well, she's been better. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Hey, remember what Georgie said? Yeah. Wouldn't a shear like us buy the new clothes? Sure. Yeah, I'm holding jackets today, too. Yeah, let me get a shot of that. We're gonna get my brushes. We're gonna get my brushes. Get my brushes. All right. Got it? Yeah. Very good. Terrific. All right. Get all that other stuff on board. Now, wait a minute. What about the bass player? He'll be here. Don't worry. What's the latest on George? He's out of intensive care. He's resting comfortably. You send the flowers? Sure, of course I did. No, no, sweetheart. It's already focused, automatic. Just press the button. Look at the birdie. Once again. Okay, thank you. Here's the bass man. Looks tall. Yeah, I hope the jacket fits. Looks young. Looks black. It is black. There goes the neighborhood. Why is Schwarz? Did I know? That doesn't bother me. Me either. Well, whether it bothers you or not, we gotta take him. The deal is for six men. Who's Flynn? Me, Marty Flynn. Tommy Braswell sent me. Right, right. He said 200. I said no way. He said he was sure you'd negotiate. Oh, boy. We're all getting 200. Well, that's your business. Get someone else. It's too late now. What a beginning. Would you let me handle this? How much? 300, one in advance. Now? Yeah, cash. Beautiful. I wouldn't give him a dime. Look, you don't have to. I made the arrangements. I'll take care of it, okay? Here you go. Anything else? Not that I can think of. Marsha Wilson. How are you? Jack Larman, piano. Arthur Winslow, drums. Uh, and Gil McCray, trumpet. Yeah. Aaron Wall, clarinet. Got a present for you. Try this for size. No, thank you. What's the matter? I don't wear uniforms. 
What do you do? I play bass as good as anyone around. All right, come on, let's go. We're late now. I'll give you a hand. Thank you. Put that fiddle on top. Outside? Yeah. No way. The inside's full. Uh-uh. What does he want us to do, repack the van? What do you want? I can understand his concern. Hey, put out, Arthur. How about in the front seat next to the driver? <laughs> next to the driver? The bass fits in the front seat next to the driver. You know what? He's right. OK? All in favor, say aye. Now, wait a minute. The eyes have it. Let's go. Give him a hand. I got it. Never mind. Excuse me. Excuse me. Give me no. that hand. You got it. Easy, easy. Hand here. Easy. Just take it easy. Okay. about wives and kids, okay? Okay. Hey, Marty, how's your mistress? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Farewell, mere existence. Hello, jazz. I'm really doing it. Hitch me. Uh, what the hell are you doing? I used to go this way when I was a kid to camp, except there was no throughway. You were a kid? Friendly vous up a fun <laughs> The Essays of George Orwell. Hey, man, don't read over somebody's shoulder. It's rude. You wrote 1984. No kidding. I'm sorry if I'm crowding you. No problem. You sure? I would have said. Did you get the green stamps? 60 cents? <laughs> green stamps. Uh, let's see here. We go uh, right. Right? Right. Yeah, I think I hear my stomach calling me. What's it calling you? Help! I'm hungry! Feed me! Well, it's calling you. Right Please, no picture. <laughs> hey, Flynn. Flynn. You're going faster than I like to drive. The limit's 55. Yeah, out on the highway. Here it's 40. You want to live forever? 40 it is. Okay? So how did your mother take it? With predictable grace and dignity. <laughs> and your wife in Nantucket? Oh, no problem. You know, when I used to go to camp as a kid, there was nothing here but trees. Pardon me, somebody. There you go. Oh, great. I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Man, I don't see any signs. Do you? No. It's too much, do you mind? I don't see any signs. Thanks a lot, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? What am I doing? It's early to eat. I'm getting a drink. Well, late as it is. So we'll be later. Anybody wants to join me is welcome. Somebody put some money in a meter. I don't have any change. Well, I got a subway token. Marty, I think we got a problem. Uh, tell me about it. Close the door, please.
You said the guy who recommended him was a friend. Not anymore. Maybe one of us should have stayed in the car. The instruments. Hey, don't make it worse. Why do we need a base? Good question. Well? Well? We need a base because I promised the guy six men. <sighs> Nan took it in exchange for two weeks of tension. Wonderful. Jack, don't start. What do we do? I don't know what you guys are going to do, but what I intend to do is I intend to ignore them. Hey, can we have another round? We still got to drive. I forgot. Make it doubles. Doubles. You know how good I feel? I can't tell you how good I feel. Marty, where's the van? There it is. He moved it. You left the keys in the car? Hey. I'll be right there. Where are you going? Chewing gum. It's great to be with great guys like you. It's great. Cheer up, Marty. Watch yourself. All right. Hey, Marty, you think I'm great? I think you're great. <laughs> I never have so many drinks. <laughs> I can't be the camera. <laughs> you should have come. It was great. He never had so many drinks. How did you know? How little bird. <laughs> What'd you say your name was? Wilson, Marshall Wilson. Where's Jack? We can't leave without Jack. Where'd they get some chewing gum? The worst thing in the world for your teeth. <laughs> oh, play that thing. Look at him. <laughs> look at that. He looks like a kid with a new toy. <laughs> hey, Jack, watch out for that car. That careful, it'll have everybody hugging the car over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 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 I bought it. Where's the gum? Here you go. Nice. Gum is terrible for your teeth. I'm a dentist. Oh, really? Would you like some? No. Attaboy. Boy? <laughs> Don't you know there's a fight in words? Tell him. Well, it depends on the context and the source. Hey, play something. Like what? Anything. Yo, you got a bottle of it? Yeah, you know you got to turn around. Here. How do you get out of this town? I'm going to make a turn up here. I met my little bright eye down, boom, down by the riverside. Boom, down by the riverside. Boom, down by the riverside. I met my little bright eye down, boom, down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. I asked her for a little kiss boom, boom, down by the riverside. Boom, boom, down by the riverside. Boom, boom, down by the riverside. I asked her for a little kiss boom, boom, down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. She said, have patience, little man. I know you'll understand. I hardly know your name. I said that if I had my way, We'll wet some sweet day down by the riverside. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Just have to go for another round. I'm cool, I'm cool. I'll do help. I'm fine. Cool. Hey, you uh, know that song we just played? No. Down by the riverside? You never heard it. You never heard it? Not in the Dixieland. Well, Dixieland happens to be what we play. It's all we play. So what? So how are you going to play with us if you don't know the songs? Dixieland chords go down real easy, like baby food. Thus spake Marshall Wilson, who I never heard of. Spit it out, man. Hey, if you're such a great bass player, how come none of us have ever heard of you, man? Maybe you travel in the wrong circle. And maybe you're just a phony. Jesus Christ. Maybe we better just knock it off, huh? How do we know he can play at all? Pull over. What? Pull over. Are you nuts? You're out in the middle of nowhere. You're not going to get a ride out here. If you want to get off, good riddance. Pull the damn van over. All right, man. You want out, over you go. I'm over. Out. Let him out. Out. Let me tell you something else, pal. I promised that guy six men. You quit on me now, I want my hundred back. Come here. Me? You. What for? I'm not going to bite you. Just come on over here. Play. What? Play something on it. That song you just did. Go on.
Spike, pretty good, oh, huh? Oh, hey! Oh, Not bad. Oh. So Spike Marshall Wilson, huh? Let's get on the road, huh? So what do you play with mostly? Big bands or groups? Both. Oh, uh, yeah? What groups? Lee Connors, Charlie Parker, Sonny Rollins, Gillespie. Dizzy. Dizzy. What big bands? Oh, I was with uh, Basie for a year. I toured the Far East with Goodman, played with Ellington, Hampton, you name it. <laughs> We're the presence of royalty. Why is he playing with us? Why are you playing with us? Got a wife and two kids, and I haven't worked in a month. <laughs> you want to know what's wrong with this country? There it is. Jack's getting millions while artists starve. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something that would help. Yeah, what's that? Guys like you stop taking jobs that belong to professionals. I think I'm going to throw up. You do. You're going to have to walk. Hey, Marshal. So you're a professional, OK? And we're just little cockers trying to live a one-in-a-lifetime dream. But you know, I can turn this van around, go back to New York. You keep pissing on it. So what do you say, huh? My lips are sealed. Drive on. <laughs> All right. Paradise oh. Manor, here we come. Was Goodman gay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the place the guy talked about. He said we'd pass <clears throat> this. And there's the church up there. So we're getting close. Is that it? I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There she blows, laddies. <laughs> Marty, you made it. Oh, no. Almost, Arthur. I would have lied down. Hey, hey. Like with hey. hey. all right. That's good, huh? Country, country, where's the office? The hell with the office, where's the job? <laughs> hey, I want to get a shot at it. Hey, it's actually nicer than the brochure. And you thought this was going to be a dump, right? You satisfied, huh? I admit, Marty, I'm surprised. Don't come in! Hey, oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Huh? Ah, Thank good. you. Welcome, I... Yasu, Yasu, Shalom, Shalom. A mid gang owner and manager. Oh, you're the guy oh, I talked oh, to oh, on the phone. I... Are you Flynn? Right. We talked on the phone, right? That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How are so you? you're Flynn. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're almost on time, too, huh? Almost. That counts with me. But what counts even more is honesty, truth. Now, you promised me six men. Oh, there's another guy. He's lying in the van. Carsick. Carsick? Yeah. Well, you're playing tonight. Oh, he'll be all right by tonight. Can we see our quarters? Relax. Enjoy. Take it easy. It's Paradise Manor. Come, we'll take a little <laughs> tour. You'll like the place. Come on. Come along with me. See, now, down here, this is the main building. This hey, is what we go. call it Come Camp on. Carefree. Uh -huh. here, these are some of our favorite guests. Hello, oh. darling. Sweetheart. Yeah, I love that girl. And down here, the pool is in the back. You'll see that a little later. What's the dog's name? The dog? That's Mrs. Mitgang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Come on, take a look here. Oh, boy. What's this? I've got people today. See? Huh? huh? Don't throw them around. Look here. See, whatever you see here, every place you look, you got scenery. You like? I like. Huh? You, take a look at the pool. You know what that pool cost me? Uh, how much? Don't ask. Listen. Twice a day, I check the chemical content personally, and twice a week, it is completely vacuumed. Well, the last one ends a rotten egg. Oh, wait. One proviso. In order to make adequate space and, you know, privacy for the guests, all the help, band included, may use the pool before 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., all right? Mitt gang. Yeah. Can I use the pool, too? Of course. <laughs> Listen. This rule is strictly enforced. No exceptions. So enjoy. Huh? Come on, come on, I'll show you the rest over here. Except for picking up your mail and making phone calls, which should be kept to a minimum, the use of the lounge and the lobby is for the guests only. This is our crystal room. Is it gorgeous? Look out the windows, beautiful vista, wherever you look. You ask for telephones, telephones are here. One phone for the whole place? Mister, people come here to Paradise Manor to relax, to get away from telephones, to commune with nature. Nice menu. <laughs> Thanks. For the guests, Blondie, work. Huh? <laughs> well, see this whole thing when I first took over you here. You want to go on the grass? Go on the grass. It's my grass. I do what I want. <laughs> this whole thing used to be vacant land. There used to be Indians here. Jewish Indians? Soup. <laughs> see, right up here. Easy now. Watch for the leaves. See these people enjoying themselves? <laughs> That's Paradise Manor. Just hold it here. Don't go too close. Now, here we have A1 caliber professional tennis courts. Don't tell me. We can't use them. Well, not those, but just up the hill is a tennis court for the use of the employees during off-duty hours. Naturally. If you like me, shoot me. Oh, God. Hey, listen, can we cut the rest of the tour? Just show us where we live. Hey, you wish is my command. 
Huh? Okay. Beautiful. This is it? This is it. What? That? Yeah. Where's the other half? Oh, it's rustic, but clean and complete privacy. Oh, it looks like an outhouse. The outhouse, I prefer laboratory, is there, just past the tennis courts, yeah? Oh. Uh -huh. Any uh, special hours or all for our very own? <laughs> Look, if you have to go at night, I, I suggest you pick up a flashlight at the main desk in the, in the lodge there. Also, uh, uh, the toilet paper and uh, light bulbs. It's all free of charge. This isn't happening. And, oh, uh, for minor ablutions and drinking water, there's a hose next to the cabin. A hose? Yeah, if you're for washing the face and the hands like that. You want a shower, you go to the uh, employee's uh, dormitory there behind the main building, right? And uh, let me see, supper is at 6 o'clock sharp. You play from 7 to 11 weeknights and uh, midnight on Friday and Saturday. And uh, I guess that's it. Any questions? Yes. Uh, what time's the next bus? Uh, a sense of humor. I like that. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hey, wait a minute. What about the keys? Ke what kind of keys? This is Paradise Manor. We don't use keys. It's one of our proudest traditions. Ciao. Enjoy, enjoy. All rooms with private bath and double exposure. Hey, will you wait a minute? Let's take a look before you start complaining, huh? Somebody give Arthur a hand. Arthur, it's time. Be it ever so humble. Hey, watch it, don't hit your head on that pipe. Not to mention the broken window panes. Not bad, not bad, huh? Yeah. Hard beds, huh? What do you think? Far for the course. Can I lie down, please? It's gonna be awfully tight in here, Marty, with all our stuff. There's a bureau. Yeah. We can't get in, we leave in the van. There's a closet over here with plenty of hands. Right, sure. What's the matter? Oh, dirt, huh? That pipe is filthy. Oh, we'll clean it off. Hey, what? High card gets choice of bunks and like that, okay? Fine by me. Deal them. Hey, wait a minute. Are you guys actually gonna go through with this thing? We came this far. At least we can do is give it a try. Speak for yourself. I'm leaving. Jack, Jack, wait, wait, wait. For Christ's sake, so it's not the Taj Mahal. Maybe tomorrow we'll all want to go home. Give it one night, huh? One lousy night? We're in the presence of a great musician. Wouldn't you like to be able to brag that you played with him? Wouldn't you? Huh? Come on, Jack. Jack. Well, OK. <laughs> one night, but beyond that, no promises. Hey, you guys want to see what I got? Voila. My <laughs> sentiments to a T. I regret it is. <laughs> I don't think I can play tonight. What are you talking about? Of course you can. The, my head, the, everything is spinning. Oh. Hey, come on, I got just a remedy. Oh. Jake! Oh. 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 I'm so nervous. That's good stuff. Must have been a gas plant with Basie. Yes. Hey, the steak is good. That steak is lamb. Well, whatever it is, it's very tasty. You should try some. I'm not hungry. What's Dizzy Gillespie like? Good people. Hey, Marty. Hmm? I'm blonde. Which one's yours? What was it like working for Goodman? Swell. Ditto Ellington, Hampton, and everybody else I played with, OK? OK. You don't eat. How are you going to play? I don't want to play. You say that again, I'm going to break your legs. So. Everything satisfactory? Oh, everything's superb. Players well bestowed. That's my policy. Where are you going? Phone call. You know what people in Pakistan will give for a meal like this? Sounds like a party. Yes. Everyone misses you. I don't miss you. Who was that? Was that Smiley Tanner? Yes. <laughs> Watch out for him. Jack. Where are you? Oh, I'm the Catskills. I'm inspecting a branch bank here that seems to be, um... What? I can't hear you. Smiley, stop it. What did you say? Honey, I'll be joining you in a day or two. Don't rush. We're fine. Someone's waiting to use the phone. Bye.
Testing, the field is in motion. What do we call ourselves? Never mind. Never mind. Give me a drum roll. Give me a drum roll. Uh, a drum roll. Give me a drum roll. Uh, a drum roll. Yeah. Hell of a drum roll. Why don't you get what you pay for it? Hey, welcome in. Welcome in, Yasu. Yasu. Shalom. Shalom. Welcome. Welcome to Paradise Manor Crystal Room. It's wonderful. Man. I never played in public before. Oh, you're gonna be fine once we get started. Look at this doll right here. Ah. I'm glad to see you back again from last year. Remember last year we weren't so lucky, the ladies weren't so gorgeous. Jack, yeah. Jack, give me that A again. Yeah. Sal was telling me he didn't like the room. He said the room was too small. I said, Sal, the room is not small. We have thick wallpaper. <laughs> you wanna see small rooms, you go down the road here to the other lodge. No names, please, huh? That place, the rooms are so small, they have adjoining towels. They're so small, you can hear the lady in the next room changing her mind. <laughs> but seriously, no, seriously, folks, tonight we're really glad to have you here tonight because we have a wonderful aggravation of musicians here. Anyway, when I booked these fellas, their agent said they were outstanding. And he was right. That's where I found them, outstanding in the kitchen. But let's have a big, big Paradise Manor welcome for your singing and dancing pleasure, here they are, the uh, the new Grenadiers. Let's hear it, fellas. Come on. Gentlemen, we'll just have a little intermission here while we uh, fix the mic. <laughs> Enjoy. You're looking somebody didn't have a heart attack out there. Oh, you want us to play soft and different. You hired a jazz band. Look, hire means I'm paying you. When I pay you, I don't want to leave you. Biff, bam, bang. The end of a perfect day. Why hire a jazz band in the first place? Now, a band is a band, Slim. Being amateurs, you can get you for less than scale. Uh, oh, wonderful. In addition to everything else, we're scarce. Where do you think you're going? Nantucket. He can't go to Nantucket. We're all going. Well, you can't do that. I have 200 people around here. Play a little bit. Play something. Well, anyhow, this is very unprofessional. Hey, look, pal, all we know is Biff Bam Bang. That's very unprofessional. You hear me? Very unprofessional. I'll never give you a, a, a letter of recommendation. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pay you $50. Just play for tonight. I don't want to lose the crowd. It's not a question of money. Yes, it is. $100. 60 75 it's a deal. Cash, now. After the set. But play nice. Hey, what are you doing? We can't play the kind of stuff he wants. Trust me. Everybody knows my gal, Sal. Da 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 hey, What key? B flat. You game? Why not? I thought we were leaving. It's too late to leave tonight. Come on, Jack. Give it a try. Gil, I don't know the chords. B flat, E flat, E flat minor. Trumpets, trombones, mute. Rushes nice and easy, all right? Two, one, two, three, four. So what do we do for the next four hours? Got a million of them. C minor, C7. F7.
snack thing, the little beer and sandwiches? Hey, I think we're being quoted. All right, man, gang. I'll win it. Well, uh, if you want to stay on for a little while, it's okay with me. Okay. The money you paid us tonight, that's a bonus. No way to flinch. Hold it, hold it. We get to eat from the guest menu. Hey. We go to the tennis courts, the swimming pool, wherever, whenever we want. Flynn. All right. I'm putty in your hands. It's a deal? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 not as far as I'm concerned. I agree to one night, and that's it, for me. I cancel all my lessons. Rumbas and waltzes for two weeks? Wait a minute. Uh, suppose we play uh, Biff Bam Bang. Just a little. What's a little? Uh, once every set. And one entire set. Hey, wait a minute. Don't press your luck. All right. All right? Yeah. Well, no, I'm sorry, Marty. I'm leaving. Jack, come here. Let me talk to you, huh? Sure. Jack, listen. You're being unfair. You're spoiling it for everybody. I don't care, Marty. I'm leaving. How would you like it if your wife knew who made that call from Ogilvy? You would. You would. Fellas, <laughs> <laughs> well, the best I could do. Hey, well, we got a long way to go, let me tell you. Did you see Mitt Gang's face? <laughs> yeah, no, Biff Bam Bang. Yeah, I think I fell in love. Ooh, that blonde. Woo! How about Arthur on that rumba? Yeah. Hey, how about him on the poker? Yeah. yeah let's hear it for Arthur. All right, Arthur. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, Thanks, hey, guys. hey, for Arthur. Hey, Marty. Yeah. How small is your room? Oh, <laughs> my room is so small, you can hear the woman next door change it on mine. What time is it? A little before two. Mitt Gang said we could rehearse in the recreation room. Rehearse? Sure. We don't want to play the same songs over and over. He's right. We're going to play schmaltz as played as good as we can. Everybody in favor of rehearsing? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. Right. Jack? I'm merely here to serve. Poor baby. Shut up. Marty. Marty. Hey, Marty. Yeah? I shouldn't have left my mother. Listen, if anything goes wrong, they'll call you. I'm not sure I can stay. Why don't you sleep on it, huh? You? Yeah. You play nice. Thanks, man. You ever played professionally? For a couple of years after college. Then what? I met a woman that could support me in the style to which I'd always aspired. I went to work for her father. Doing what? Real estate. We practice will sound great by Labor Day. Maybe somebody will hear us. Who knows, right? Kill? Marty? Jack? that Great. someone that attend effect. to that please sounds like mortar fire oh. jesus that. christ hey 
kid, knock it off. Come on, it's not even six o'clock. Hey, what's Nuts. the matter with you, huh? You want this ball back, you go tell your old man to come see me. Arthur, you feeling any better? No, I didn't slip a wink. Neither did I. Who asked you? All right, come on, come on, don't be afraid. All right, who's got my grandson's ball, huh? Who's got my grandson's ball? Here, take that. Now listen to me. My grandson goes wherever he likes, whenever he likes, and does whatever he likes. You understand? No problem. I'm not no talking to you. Problem. I'm not talking to you. Unless you have any problems, you come to me, huh? Don't let him scare Don't you. you. Keep it down to a roar. Smart asses. As I was saying, Seymour, if you have a problem, you... What the hell are you doing? You know, it's a funny thing, but as soon as I open my eyes in the morning, I have an uncontrollable urge to play. You're gonna wake up the whole country. What's the matter? Are you crazy? Them is sugar. Stay away from them. Them is sugar. They're musicians, you know? Come on, I'll get you some cocoa, and we'll forget the whole thing. You did it again. I'm sorry. From the top. One, two, one, two, three, four. But that time you slowed down. Fire me. Take five. Am I entitled to a phone call? Hey. <laughs> So what's with Arthur? Says he's worried about his mother, but I think he's homesick. If we don't do something, you know, he's gonna go. I'll take care of him. How? Oh. I'll take care of him. Looks like you and me against the world. What does that mean? The amateurs versus the pros. I belong to 802. I remember him. He had a string of hit records in the early 70s. Ave Maria with a bossa nova beat. He should only play as good as he sings. The man made millions. <laughs> to what do we owe the honor? Well, he retired for a few years. He decided to come to Paradise Manor to make his comeback. Oh, practice, practice. So, how are things in Nantucket? My wife is out sailing with one of the prime lechers of our time. Beyond that, great. Can we resume? After the ball. Again. We haven't played it yet. <laughs> Pretty. Thanks. Not you, the scenery. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, would you do something for me? I bet you'd never ask. I'm serious. Oh the band's got a problem that could cost us the job. Tell me. Well, the drummer's homesick. It'd be a shame if I had to leave before we got to know one another. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. 80. Hey, listen, I got it. Let's go fishing. No. I'll give you free tennis lessons. What do you say? No, thank you. I'm game for anything. Eight, 400. 400 yards, I counted them. And when you get there, the hot water's just a little trickle. For which I'm to blame. You're the one that got us here. Hey, you know, you two guys should get together. I can't help it. Can I have my bunk back? Oh, yes, I can have your bed back, too. Oh, yeah, I can have my bed back. Hey, listen, if you want me, go on fishing. Uh, Aaron, uh, could you play that outside? I'd like to take a nap. Thank you. Arthur? What? Marty shouldn't have spoken to you like that. My mother devoted her life to me. I'm supposed to ignore her? Marty doesn't understand. Something could happen at any time. Of course, and if it were my mother, nothing would stop me from being with her. I'm leaving. Oh, no, there are no more buses today. Uh, I'll take the first one tomorrow. Good, I'll go with you, and uh, 
Arthur, don't tell the others about this, because they'll only try to talk you out of it. What's that? What's what? The magazine. French? French. I'm impressed. You certainly read a lot. For a jazz man? Hey, why can't a person say the simplest thing without you taking it as an insult? Condition reflex. Sorry. That's not a bad idea. Uh, what? I caught two perch and a four-pound bear. How about company next time? Terrific. I'll go with you tomorrow. Wonderful. How about you? No, thanks. You see her? Not yet. She asked the blonde to speak to you about me? Yeah. Hey. You know, this is better tonight. Than what? Give us a break, huh? See you. What's your rush? I'm working up a solo on Stardust. Man, you've been practicing all day. That's what separates the men from the boys. Right? Right, if you say so. Aaron the fanatic. I wouldn't kid him about it. Hey, Arthur. You're on. bit plain. Uh, it gives you something in common to break the ice. Nice teeth. You would turn to favor. Smile. Go on, a little more. Doesn't hurt. been such a good audience we're going to give you a taste of the real thing now those with hearing aids are advised to turn them down we for our part are going to dispense with the microphone no dancing on the tables and this song is dedicated to that prince of innkeepers Abe Mitgang ready fellas a one two a one two three
Personally, I hate it. It's the customers. I got him on the phone. I got Georgie on the phone. He's doing great. I told him we're gonna play one the last night with a phone off the hook so I can hear it. Come on, say hello to him. Just a minute. Hi, Georgie. How are you? That's great. Here's Marty. Hey, Georgie. How the broads in that flight? <laughs> <laughs> we're late. Come on. I'm coming. Listen, Marty loaned me the van, and I thought we'd go over to the. Come on. I can't. Why not? Dating a musician, she'll expect things. Things? I'm not very experienced. Arthur, right, just let nature take its course. Come on. I heard Mr. Midgang say he was going to try and get you back next year. Will you be here? No. Well, that's no deal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing for us. I have an uncle who's a dentist. I hope you like him. He's a very wise man. As a matter of fact, you can learn an awful lot about human nature from the way people behave in a dentist chair. Well, for instance? Well, take pain. There's a certain kind that feel guilty if they're not suffering, and so they refuse anesthesia no matter what. Oh, not I. <laughs> and then there's the kind with no tolerance that need no vacane to sit in the waiting room. Ah, oh, that's me. No, it isn't. How do you know? Like I said, you learn to read people. And I size you up as being eminently sensible. <laughs> You're right. I said the other just to be funny. <laughs> Would you like to go to the lake and take out a boat? Uh, it's pretty late. I'll tell you secrets about dentistry that have never been revealed. I'm yours. <laughs> time I said the C seventh chord. That's what I play. No, it wasn't. I know what I play. What's the hour? 10 after 11. My, how time flies when you're having fun. Jack, can I talk to you, huh? Jack! Come in! Come on! Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, you win. What? Listen, go to Nantucket, go to the moon. I don't care, but go. Why the sudden change of heart? Because you're another incomplete drag. You're a big pain in the ass. What about the job? We're going to replace you. What? I wish you'd have thought of that sooner. So do I. You won't say anything to my wife. No, but you know something? Maybe you should. You got some marriage. You can't tell your wife about something like this. Anyone knows a piano player wears a 40 jacket? He's going. Go on. Maybe if one of us spoke to him. It's a waste of time. So what happens now? We get a new piano player. You must know somebody. It won't be the same without Jack. Hey, you want to go home? No. Then we got somebody.
What about that fellow that sat in one night last year? He was terrible. Besides which, he's in California. Come on, you must know somebody. Not who plays Dixieland. So get someone that plays like you and doesn't know Dixieland. Company's coming. I came back to say goodbye. Unless you need a piano player. He's staying. He's staying? Hey, wait a minute. What gift? Well, I, I could say I didn't want to let you guys down or that I suddenly remember Georgie and what he wouldn't give to be here, but uh, it was the piano. What? Yeah. I was by the phone waiting to call the cab, and I, uh, I realized that I didn't want anyone to play my piano. OK? OK, Marty? Huh? OK. <laughs> OK! OK! <laughs> hey, how about a little maple leaf? Welcome back to Prodigal. Yeah. Professor, yeah. if you please. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three! This musician's life could be addicting. You really believe that? Well, relax all day, jazz at night. <laughs> you want to hear the downside? Filthy clubs, owners that stiff you? No, not today. Today, everyone and everything is beautiful. Even Marty. Huh? He said you were beautiful. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> and modest. Where were you just now? It's not too personal. I don't know. I, uh, I like it up here, you know? Trees, no phones. Marshall, cue the violins. I tell you, I've done more thinking in the last couple of days than I have in the previous 20 years. I got a letter from my wife. Yeah, how'd she take it? Relieved. She thought I was lying. It was another woman. Well, it's time next week, back to the salt mines. You got anything lined up, Marshal? Yeah, a month in Chicago with Marion McPartland. European tour with Warren Vachier in November. Wow, Europe, huh? How would you like to do that? I almost did. Oh, yeah? When? Somewhere I graduated. The band we had at college got invited to a jazz festival in Belgium. What happened? My father thought music was strictly a collegiate activity. Since I'd graduated, it was time to put the toys away. Somehow these two weeks have made up for it. Hey, well, don't talk about it like it's over. We still got a big weekend. Got one. Yeah. Say <laughs> stop when you want to. Oh, stop. You OK? You want to go back? Anything you want. Are you always so agreeable or just with me? Just with you.
Paradise Manor? About a mile. In which direction? That way. Are you sure? Positive. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you straight ahead? Take it easy. Sit down, Vincent. Take it easy. Thanks a lot. Rick Valentine. You think how big he was and now he's playing here. Every dog has his day. Maybe there's hope for me. Yeah, I'll race you back for a beer. <laughs> Yasu, uh, bienvenuto, uh, Abe Mitgang, owner and manager. Vincent Amati, we uh, spoke on the telephone. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. This is Rick Valentine. I know. It's the I'm best you place. can do. Our room's ready. Of course. Well, frankly, we didn't expect you till tomorrow. This is an important engagement for Mr. Valentine. We want to check everything out. A1, personal guarantee. All the way up here, I see signs for Stephen Eadie to Concord. I see Rickles at Grossinger's. I don't see anything about me. Oh, Rick, uh, Mr. Valentine, this is a last-minute booking. The people we want will be here. Have the band ready for a run-through in about 45 minutes. I don't know where they are. Well, you better start looking. Now. Excuse me. <laughs> Flynn? Flynn, where are you? Where the hell is... Hey, Bugler, where... God, before lunch? What do you want? The rest of the band. I gotta have them in the dining hall right away. Where are they? Flynn! Here! Hey, what? Mid game! What'd you say? Come back to the lodge! Bring your men back to the lodge! Now! You wanna get paid? Hey! Hey, Skinny! Hey, Slim! Over here, over here! Bring your instrument to the dining room! I need you! Don't ask questions! Come on! You know that church was built the same year my grandfather was born? Hey! That makes it special. Hey, drummer! Come on back, I need you at the lodge! Today, huh? Come on! <laughs> It's a music stand. Put I it up know here. what it is. Yeah. What's it for? He'll tell you. Just put it up. He's coming. Hey, boys, how you doing? Hey, Rick. Rick. Hey. How are you? Who's the leader? How you doing? Hey, me. Nice to meet you. Hand these out. Pass them out. <laughs> Where's the accompanist? Sick. That's why we came a day early to rehearse. So where should I enter from? The phone booth, the bathroom, the kitchen, what? For the time being, uh, over there. Marty, I read music, but not this well. I can't read it at all. Hmm? How about you, Gil? I can handle it. Yeah, me too. Well, what are we gonna do? Fake and pray. Well, let's get started. OK, go from the introduction. Who's the MC? Me. Here. Read this. Out loud. And now? Now, by special arrangement with Argyle Records, we are privileged to present movie star, TV star, recording star, the one, the only, Rick Valentine. Hit it! One, two, one, two, three. Is this some kind of a joke? It's 
said you had a band. Well, with the, uh, a little nervous working with a star. Uh, start again. Won't do any good. Start again. Please. One, two. One, two, three, four. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Kill me or what? Mr. Valentine, they still have today and tomorrow to practice. Look, important people are coming to see if I still have it. My career, my life is on the line. Now you do something or I'm gonna walk! If he quits, I'm in bad trouble. And if I'm in bad trouble, you're in worse. What do you want me to do? What? Get a band that can cut it by tonight. Tonight? How? That's your problem. Nice horn. Let me see it. What? Let him see it. I used to play one of these. Uh, what are you doing? That last note sounded off. I'm gonna fix it for you. Hey, don't do that! Ooh. A band that can cut it by tonight. Crazy. A man has been assaulted. I call the police, a man's gonna be murdered. Me. Welcome to the wonderful world of music. What happens now? Well, offhand, I'd say our employment has been terminated. What else could I do? Marshal, can you get me what I need? You're talking business? Did you see those guys? Well? Maybe. How much? Tough order to fill on short notice. How much? 500 a man for the weekend. It's robbery. Better than murder. Get them. You're gonna stay after what's happened? Can you make me a better offer? My razor. How do I know? Well, you borrowed it. I did not. Are you going to tell me you didn't use my razor? Why don't you two guys shut up, huh? Oh, well, don't take it out on us because you got socked for being a wise guy. Oh, is that the party line, huh? I deserve it, which excuses you guys for not helping? Oh, what the hell could we do? Here, here's your razor. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, it's a lark. For me, it's my bread and butter. Well, so be it. Hey, Trotter. You take care of yourself, huh? You too. All of you. I enjoyed being with you. Hey, the feeling's mutual. Me too. You doing it, Marshal? Yeah. How you coming with the replacements? Got a couple of guys all set. Some calls into some others. I don't have a trumpet player yet. You want to stay? Thanks. That's very flattering, but uh, no thanks. Hey, Gil, don't refuse on my account. Or mine. I'm not. I've just had enough. If you need a sax, I'm available. 
Thanks. Um, I've already got someone. Sure. The marshal? The marshal. The guy's on the phone from New York. He says he's got everything but a saxophone. But he's working on that now, so what should I tell him? What? What's the matter? What'd I say? What'd I say? No, nothing. What should I tell him? Give him directions and tell him to be here by six. Okay. Hey, uh, somebody want to give me a hand with some of this stuff? Yeah, I will. I, yeah, I, uh, I think I left my watch on the bandstand. Aaron, go away. I'm sorry, I really am. You mean that? Hire me. You guys that are coming up at top flight, you'd be in over your head. You mean I stink? I never said that. Oh, boy. Aaron, look. Fuck off. It isn't a religion. Meaning? Don't forget it. Say it. Devotion isn't enough. What happened? The band got fired, and we're leaving. Now? Right now. Look, I was going to build up to this gradually, but there isn't time. Arthur, don't. I'm married. My husband's in the service. Well, I... They said you were lonely. I was lonely, too. I never expected anything like this. I enjoyed you, Arthur. Really, I, I really did. Let's go! Oh, mother, I forgot my umbrella. Well, get it. Come on! Be nice if I could beat that bridge traffic. Let's go. Close that back in, Jack. Faster. I mean, if we get to New York by five, I could be in Nantucket tonight. Do you mind if I don't worry about that? Pardon me. What right did you have telling her that I was lonely? Weren't you? Will you turn that racket over? I don't want to see any of you guys again. It's the best news I've had today. Look, why don't we all just say nothing until we get to New York? I'll buy that. Me too. From now on, silence reigns. That means crying, too. I can't help it. You think you're the only one in pain? Jeez. What just the hell's going on? What happened? What are you doing, Marty? You all right? Yeah. The bad news is there's no spare. The good news is we passed the house back there. I'll phone for help. I'll go with it. Who invited you? I have to go to the bathroom. Turn it off. Why? I don't want to hear it. Well, cover your ears. I said turn it off. It is a drain on the battery. Look, you stay out of this. Why don't you say what's really on your mind? You're mad because Marshall asked me to stay and didn't ask you. You're damn right I'm mad. I, who love music more than life, am given a second-rate talent, while he is handed a one-in-a-million gift. A one-in-a-million gift, which he shits on! Can I help it if I don't want to play? Can I help it? I'm sorry, man.
Well? Help is on the way. The lady who owns the house is a widow. When's the wedding? Don't laugh. I got her number. Who'd you call, Marty? A garage? Marty? What's with you? While Arthur was romancing the widow, I, uh, I called my wife to tell her we were coming home. And? She told me Georgie died. Oh, my God. He was doing so well. They were going to send him home. They never even played the song. He asked us to play something for him while we were there. What'll it be? He liked blues the best. Be flat. Thank <laughs> you.